this one the good one? No, but what? Is it possible to get some sound? And the results are essentially in. Polls closed about three hours ago. Now, Trenton County's clerk telling us not that many people turned out to vote today. A good amount of the primary election results will come to you as no surprise, but in a couple of races, incumbents especially faced some serious challenges. And our governor may have cinched the GOP nomination, but one opponent made him sweat just a little. So with all that said, let's check in now with Dean for those first results of this evening. Dean? Well, it comes out Republican and Governor Matt Mead takes the GOP nomination, but not without Dr. Taylor Haynes making him work for it. Superintendent Cindy Hill, meanwhile, brings up the rear with 13% of the vote. Meanwhile, Pete Gosar is unopposed in the Democratic race for governor, so he and Governor Mead will face off in November. Our sister station down in Cheyenne spoke with Governor Mead after his victory this evening. He says he's taking this as a chance to prove to the people of Wyoming he's not giving up the fight. Uh, in Wyoming, you shouldn't take anything for granted. In other words, you know, you've got to earn every single law. And so the primary, of course, is very big and very challenging in Wyoming because we're such a strong federal uh, state. Uh, and then if everything turns out well tonight, you know, we'll focus on the general and the same way we did the primary, taking nothing for granted and trying to get around the state and earn every vote. I was thinking you can't take the Just not sure it's one that comes back to you. All right, well, even though it wasn't a victory for Dr. Taylor Haynes tonight, there's still a celebration for the strong race that was fought there. Now we're going to check in with News 13's Wendy Lang, who's live at the scene where Taylor Haynes and his supporters are pretty proud of how well they did. Wendy, how are things going there? I'm live here at the Oil and Gas Commission building here in Casper at a support party for Taylor Haynes. And I'm actually here live with Dr. Haynes. So it's been a very exciting night, and um, based on the Associated Press, uh, Governor Matthew has won the Republican nomination for the state of Wyoming. Which one was the change? Change like this is a two-week. He's talking to Channel 2. The same time. She is actually out there at the yeah. campaign yeah, headquarters yeah, for Nevada. What's the latest out there now? Well, you know, Tony Murray, uh, this win the Democratic primary for a U.S. Senate seat. He'll go up against incumbent uh, Mike Envy for the uh, general election for the 51. And he's with me right now, so I'm trying to take this a little bit just about winning the primary tonight. It's exciting. It's exciting. I feel the people of Wyoming. One of our main things is mm -hmm. that Senate seat gets your seat. And I think it has flipped away from the people of Wyoming. So we're excited. Run with Charlie, that's the model. We're excited about people running with them. And talk to us about uh, moving forward into the general election. How will you continue to campaign? We have financially, we relied on individual contributions, and that's what we plan to do. Senator Hensley has received lots of money from that pharmaceutical company, which has very little to do with Wyoming. We would rather represent people who have five minutes. We did lots of funds from energy companies. I would rather represent the people who work for the energy companies. Okay, and last question. Why is it so important for Wyoming to finally get the Democrat in what is the U.S. Senate I don't think it's that important that the state needs. The idea is to get a Democrat in one of those seats. It's to get a person in there who will represent the people of Wyoming. I was born in Wyoming, grew up here. Uh, I'm a little bit of Republican in me, a little bit of libertarian in me, a little bit of independent in me. I'm a Wyomingite, and I think it's time for someone who will represent the people of Wyoming and not the money of Wall Street and the money that flows through Washington, D.C. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you so much. Please, back here. All right, that was absolutely my mistake. That was not Good the only thing. Good job, Charlie. That was great. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. The only that was so good. Candidate. I know we see him talking about the campaign oh, contributions. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. And he's got a lot more to say. Yeah, a lot more to say. Yeah. 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 This is just the beginning. Just the beginning of it. This is oh. Side, Ron Kaley Jr. ran unopposed. Charlie Thompson has the largest percent of the vote as of about 9 o'clock at almost 20%.
And oh. Lee Hasenhauer oh. and Linda Keith are in a close yeah, behind Thompson one. Good. at around 13.4%. Mm. Mark Woods is close behind them with around 7%. There are currently five county commissioners with three seats open. These commissioners are responsible for administering county governmental services, such as prisons and courts, property registration and building code enforcement, and public works such as road maintenance. We will keep you updated as these numbers come in. City Council, the top three candidates from the you know, one, 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 three advances in the November the election. Might be one, here one, right now, two. former City Council, they know, they, Scott Wormwood, the leading incumbent, Sean Allen. Uh, 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 on the news, yeah. Let's see who we can. Thank you. 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 Thank